Hello everyone of the NEM community. My name is Alexis Trujillo and I'm very, very glad to have here with me to Mr. Jeff McDonald. Jeff is our interim CTO at the NEM Foundation. And we're gonna talk today, today we're gonna talk about Catapult and some features that Jeff likes, some features that are really important that are putting us like the best blockchain around, but who better to explain that to us than Jeff. Jeff, hello. Hi. Hello again. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, man. It's great to be here. Um, I'm in Taiwan. I just finished up an event and getting ready for another one. Okay. So How's I'm super that? glad to do this interview. It's good. Weather's here is nice and the people are wonderful. Oh, nice to hear. Well, well, Dragon is about to, to come out, or he, he just came out, and is really bringing things. Okay, what, what's new in, in Dragon? Uh, it's super awesome. Um, Dragon is out. This is our latest update, and that brings a lot of new tech and brings us one more step closer to the mainnet launch. So I'm sure everybody's excited about that. No, we're all out. We are all out. <laughs> Of course, man. Okay, but what do you think is the most challenging thing to deliver Catapult as a public chain? Um, you know, the most challenging thing is to just do it right. To build the chain in a way so that everything's working and, uh, and it's just done. So we're super... Um, you know, everybody wants Catapult out now, 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 but the developers have a philosophy that you can either um, have security or you can be on time or you can try to make functionality and they're they're going for all of it they're they're trying to um, give us the best possible package and sometimes that takes time well all good things take time take some time of course but do you think that will is gonna put us like the best blockchain around, or what's really necessary for us to become the best blockchain around? Um, I've looked at a lot of different blockchains, and in many ways, yes, Catapult is the best blockchain for many different applications and many different builders. Um, so super excited about seeing some companies take advantage of it. All I love, well, 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 we all would like to hear much about, about Catapult, of course, but do you think there's a favorite feature do you have about Catapult so far? Um, my favorite feature on Catapult is probably aggregate transactions. Okay, well, why's that? Um, well, Aggregate transactions allows you to, or allows a developer to basically combine a lot of advanced logic that would normally take many different blocks and many different steps and put it all into one block, all in one, to one step. So for developers that say, for instance, let's say I want to create a coin. Normally, I would have to send money to an account, then I'd have to buy a namespace, then I would have to uh, create a mosaic, and then I would have to send the coins out. And at each step of the way, that would be a block, a block, a block, a block, a block. Yeah. Um, yeah. With catapults and aggregate transactions, that's all in one block, all in one go. You're able to combine the funding of account, creating a name, making an asset, distributing the asset all into one transaction. Um, and so it's super nice for people trying to do very complicated things, things that they need to make sure work every time, all the way. And Jeff, do you think that feature or any other feature is going to put us into the eye of the fintech sector? Because that's the trending way to thrive in this, in, in this market. Don't you think so? Um, I, I do. So... 
that's a great feature. I mean, there's so many great features in Catapult. I can't really even talk about oh, Come on, you can tell me more about Catapult. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So um, I love multi-level multi-sig. Um, I love aliases. I love account filters, making accounts do something. One thing that's very interesting that might not sound so sexy to the community, but is super sexy to developers is the fact that we have a MongoDB for yep. the API server. Yeah. So basically, right now, if someone's building on Bitcoin, for instance, they have to get their data from Coinbase or BitPay through their API about what's going on. People that are building big applications don't actually directly usually query the blockchain themselves. They end up querying um, some kind of API or service that's aggregated all the data for them. In Ethereum, um, this is done by consensus, and over half of the half of the API calls about data for Ethereum all goes through one company, Consensus. So basically this is a problem that blockchain developers have run into over and over and over. And the NIM developers have been able to put this MongoDB in an API server. So now that we have a true decentralized API serving up all kinds of relationships and data and history about blockchain activity, instead of just looking up something by a hash, now you can get lots of great data all through this API. And that happens through MongoDB. Now, Jeff, you, you, just, uh, to, you just talk about decentralization, mm. security. That's some two things that every blockchain has. But mm -hmm. it also ha should have a scalability, right? It should, yes. How, um, how will that turn out to be a name that is not present in Bitcoin and is not present in Ethereum? I mean, what will give us the, the head start to, to, be, to really be better, a better blockchain than, there, than theirs? Um, I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot of things that make us better. Like I said, the, the MongoDB makes us very scalable for reading information and serving data to other, um, and to other apps. And this is something that Bitcoin doesn't have and that uh, Ethereum doesn't have. Uh, our developers are going to absolutely love that when they're building on this. I can't tell you how many people have tried to build something like a MongoDB for just for their app, and now that it's ready out of the box, that's going to help. Um, the fact that the developers have made the core server just focus in on transactions um, really makes it good too, and makes that part scalable. Um, and the fact that you can uh, build all these aggregate transactions, it's just makes it a lot better all the way around for developers. I can't quite hardly explain how much easier it's going to be for them to build on them than it is other blockchains and how much more performance they get. We are about to make a revolutionary lift to the, to the blockchain industry, right? With Catapult or, uh, around. But we are also doing something that we said we wouldn't do before, I mean, we're coming out with the POS Plus, but we once said that we built POI because it was better than POS. But now we're working some, some, mm. with something called POS Plus. Why would mm. we do that? Why is it better than POI? Um, so POS Plus and POI seek to achieve the same thing. So in POS, you're basically just rewarding the rich. In POI, we are rewarding people through their stake, but also people get bonuses because of their increased network activity. The plus in the POS plus is the same thing. When we talk about POS plus, we're talking about POS as getting rewarded according to your stake, 
and the plus is getting rewarded to your network activity. Now the formula itself has changed dramatically, but the end result of what's getting rewarded and who's getting rewarded is essentially the same. But speaking about the developing community of NEM, you're really close to them and you're an inspiration. Okay, I mean, thank, thank God we, we have you there. Okay, how do you think we can improve that? How do you think we can make our community, the, the developer community, to grow, to thrive in this case? Right, right. So um, this is a really big deal. Um, we know that when Catapult comes out, it has to be as easy as possible for developers to build. And so we have David Garcia, who's the head um, in the foundation for documentation, has just recently redone the NIMTech uh, website on GitHub, um, making it super easy for developers to read information. We've put a lot of effort into making sure the JavaScript, the Java, and now coming very soon, Python and PHP, um, SDKs are ready. So, you know, basically with, with Dragon release, there's four different SDKs available for people to start to test and build on. And David's done this documentation. We will continue to build out documentation and tutorials, maybe get something like a learning portal up so that developers have a one-click way to enter in and learn about how to develop on Catapult. Wow, that, and, and that is, is that really says is that a scoop you you you're giving us to to, to make a, a developer's net or yeah I mean if you go to Nim if you go to Nim Tech right now um, on the GitHub and you see you can see the kind of the beginnings of this website where all this information has been gathered and the first basic tutorials have been given. And as time goes by, you're going to see more and more added to that and it become more and more clear. So I would encourage everybody to give it a look. We'll put that address uh, in the description of the video. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the, to the, to the caption of, of the video. Well, we have to thank Jeff for his time. We know it's really late uh, and, and in Taiwan where he is uh, at the present moment, but I'd like you to give us some final message to the community about two things. Catapult is coming, of course it's coming, and it's mm. bringing big things and better things for, for environment. And mm. also a message for all those developers that are, are out there and, don't, and, and yet don't know how easy it is to deal with, 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 with the NAM blockchain. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, so most of the features in Catapult are basically out in Dragon. Uh, if you really want to start to dig in and play with it, it's there and the SDKs are there. We're still working on metadata. The developers are still working on finalizing POS Plus, but there's some really cool things. It's not hard now to boot up your own Catapult chain, to play around with it, to test it. You can see that it's real. The SDKs are making it a lot easier to build on, and now David has got the documentation ready to go. So developers, it's time to get your hands dirty. Developers, it's time to start having fun on Catapult. And for the community, uh, we're one step closer to launch, and it is coming, it is real, uh, and I know it's been literally three and a half years in development, but there's a reason for that. Doing something right and doing it well is never easy. And if it was, somebody would have done it by now. So I'm super excited to see this happen, and it is coming, and I think that it's going to be worth the wait. So let's do it. Okay. Well, thank you, Jeff, for your time, okay? And my name is Alexis Trujillo, and there's nothing less for me to say, well, goodbye until the next Behind the Call show, the best show around about the name Catapult blockchain. See you then. <laughs>